Vanilla. Vanilla. Oh, come on now, Vanilla. Hello. Well, we have a very special visitor with us today in the Bay Harbor. This is Vanilla. And she's a Jack Dempsey fish. You see her in here? She's hiding. I don't think she wants to come out and visit with us today. There's nothing to be afraid of, Fenella. No, it's just me, the harbor master. Yeah, I know there's nothing to be afraid of. I wonder if Fenella does. Maybe I should introduce Fenella to Theodore. See, Theodore knows all about being afraid of fish. Oh, yes, indeed. You just ask him about the time that he met the haunted houseboat. It was late, late one night. A storm was gathering off the ocean, shaking the big harbor with deep rumbles of thunder and cracks of lightning. In every dock, each ship and boat and barge was snuggled safely asleep. All except for Theodore and Fodak. The two tugs were just finishing working the night shift. Theodore had been moving Bobby the Fat Bottom Barge from dock to dock, delivering anchors and, and cables and supplies for the next day. Fodak, the safety tug, was along to make sure everything was safe and sound. I better check to see if the bellboys are in good working order, called Fodak. I'll meet you back at the dock, Theodore. Fodak set off for Blanford, the bellboy who lives just outside the harbor, and Theodore continued on his way. last crack of thunder shook Theodore's stack. Theodore decided to try a shortcut home before the storm hit the harbor. It was a route he had never taken before. Theodore wasn't exactly sure where he was. Things seemed a little different in this part of the harbor. I wish I could see better said to himself. Oh, I wish I hadn't seen that, he shouted. What was that scary shape? Now, there is a part of the harbor, an old part of the harbor, where no one much goes anymore. It's called Old Dock Number 23. Theodore had never been here before. The storm died down. And suddenly, everything was still and silent, like... The whole harbor was holding its breath, waiting for something to happen. Something awful. Theodore tried to whistle, but his whistle seemed kind of whispery, like, like it didn't want anyone to know where it was. A powerful crack of thunder made Theodore jump. In the flash of lightning that followed, he saw a boat, or, or was it a house? But whatever it was, it was floating there on the water near old dock number 23, all by itself. To Theodore, its windows had looked like huge watching eyes, and its, its mouth was like a, like a silent scream. Run! Get away! A voice deep inside Theodore's head told him. Theodore was halfway home before he even blinked. Theodore! called Fodak. Where have you been? Boat! A house! I mean, bo boat house! Hollered Theodore. Ha oh, haunted! Theodore shouting, woke up the other tugs. Oh, he must have seen Halliburton, said Fodug. Halliburton's a houseboat. Well, no one's afraid of him, snorted George. Not even me, added Hank. There's nothing to be afraid of, Theodore, said Emily. Well, that's that, concluded Fodug. The other tugs turned to go back to sleep. But... I am afraid, said Theodore softly. The next evening, around sundown, the dispatcher sent Fodak and Theodore, along with Bobby Barge, to do the night shift again. Theodore couldn't stop thinking about the haunted houseboat. Theodore, said Fodak, please stop bumping into me. Oh, uh, sorry, Fodak, said Theodore. He just wanted to stay close to his friend. Where are we moving Bobby tonight? He asked. Past the oil refinery, replied Fodak. Out near old dock number 23. Old dock 
number 23. That was the worst place to go in the whole harbor. Uh, but, 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 Foda, whispered Theodore, the, the, the haunted houseboat lives there. A haunted houseboat? repeated Bobby nervously. Theodore, said Fodak, stop trying to scare Bobby. No one's afraid of that houseboat. It's no use. No one seemed to believe that Theodore really was afraid. Maybe we won't get too close to old Doc number 23, he told himself. I hope. The tugs had reached the oil refinery with Bobby Barge. Just around the next bend lay old dock number 23. Fodak, said Theodore. Oh, where are you going? To check and see if that cargo ship is anchored safely, answered Fodak. I'll meet you near old dock number 23. Now, Theodore was alone. Except for Bobby. He was fast asleep. Well, a job was a job. The tugboat must tug so slowly, barely letting his motor make a sound. Theodore floated towards old dock number 23. Maybe he's not there, he said to himself. But he was Halliburton the haunted houseboat. And he was starting to move. Uh, he's after me, shouted Theodore. Where are you going, Theodore? Theodore's cry had woken up Bobby. Haunted house, Burton, babbled Theodore as he hurried away. Uh, Halliburton, house haunted, house broken, Halliburton. Uh. The harbor was dark by now, except for the light of a full moon. It was quiet, except the faraway sound of Lily the Lighthouse's foghorn. There was a sound. Theodore didn't know what it was at first. Kawumpa, kawumpa, kawumpa. Until he realized it was his own engine pounding in his hull. Hal Halliburton's not haunted. He he he's not scary at all, and, and no one's afraid. Theodore repeated all the things the others had said to him. Not, no, not haunted. He's not scary, and no one's afraid. Now, there was another sound right behind him. He was hoping it was Fodak or anyone else. Anyone but... Halliburton! He's haunted, he's scary, I'm afraid. Theodore went racing off into the night and slipped behind a ship who was anchored in the harbor. Then he shut off his engine, held his breath, and hid. Now at that same moment, Fodak was waiting for Theodore to meet him over by old dock number 23. Hmm, where can he be? He wondered. Bobby, said Fodak, where's Theodore? That houseboat scared him, explained Bobby. Oh, Halliburton couldn't scare a sea snail. He scared Theodore, said Bobby. You mean Theodore really is scared of the houseboat, said Fodak slowly. Well, there was only one thing to do. Theodore! Theodore was so startled by the loud voice, he backed right into him. Fodak. Fodak, gasped Theodore. The stack was still shaking. Haunt, haunt, haunt burst at house button. Busted hell broken. It's chasing me. Theodore. You really are afraid, aren't you? said Fodak. Yes, I am, 
replied Theodore quietly. Fodak's special sonar machine coined the way it did when he was thinking especially hard. It appears, he said at last, since I wasn't afraid of the houseboat, I didn't think you were either. I mean, none of us did. Well, said Theodore, I was. I mean, I am. There was that sound again. Theodore knew it could only be coming from one thing in the whole harbor. The haunted houseboat. Theodore began to back up again. It's okay, Theodore. Bodak went floating out to see the houseboat. He said something to the houseboat and then turned back to Theodore. Theodore, he announced. This is Halliburton. Halliburton houseboat. He's very friendly, continued Fodak, and he doesn't think he's haunted. Hello, Theodore, called Halliburton. Well, Halliburton certainly sounded friendly, but Theodore still wasn't sure. Well, why were you chasing me? He asked. Well, I, I, I wasn't chasing you. I, I, I was trying to hide, explained Halliburton. Hide? repeated Theodore. There, there, there's a, a headless boat, said Halliburton. Out, out the, there. But, but that's Bobby, said Theodore. Well, he's a barge, explained Fodak, who was just as surprised as Theodore. Oh, he has a head. He's just kind of flat. He's really, really scary, stuttered Halliburton. Well, Fodak and Theodore were about to say that no one thought Bobby was scary, but they didn't. Halliburton, said Fodak in a gentle voice, Bobby might be scary to you, but Theodore and I both know him, and he, but he's our friend, and he's really very nice. Would you like to meet him? asked Theodore. Well, answered Halliburton, okay, if, if you go with me. And so, very carefully, Theodore and Fodak floated up, each on one side of Halliburton and began to head towards Bobby Barge together. Well, well th this makes me feel a lot better, said Halliburton, with a big smile in his voice. Halliburton, smiled Theodore, I know exactly how you feel. So do I, smiled Fodak. You know, that story about Theodore and the haunted houseboat, that's given me an idea how to get Vanilla the fish stop hiding from me. See, Fenella doesn't know me very well, and she's probably a little afraid. Besides, you know, this is what a fish sees when you're pushing your face against the glass, and it's probably kind of scary to them. So I thought I'd try something new. Thanks for visiting us here in the Big Harbor. We'll see you all again next time. I want to try this. Just get away a bit. Fenella! Hello again, it's me, the Harbor Master. You want to come out and say hi to everyone? Ah, hello there. That's better, isn't it? Hello, Fenella. Hello.